afternoon, good evening, good morning, race fans, sim fans, RC fans, Racing 393 here again for another video. So today we're going to be looking at my um, Sky RC, as you can see, corner weight system. So these are probably for, let's be fair, well, one or two things, either serious racers, you want to get maximum out of their uh, car for competition purposes, or geeky people like me who like fiddling around with technology. Now, I used to, I do know quite a bit about corner weight scales and setting cars up in real life um, through my um, oval racing career. Um, in fact, having electronic scales, albeit on a much larger scale, pun not intended, um, we used them in all, every track we raced at. Um, I didn't have them all the time, it was only kind of a halfway through my career purchase because they were quite expensive. Um, I'm thinking back in the day, they're probably about 1,200 pound, and they, they take the weight of an actual full-size race car. Um, very crucial for making your car, I'll say more competitive and understanding how and how the weight transfer works on an oval car. Now you can use them on um, any race car to be fair, um, but the general, on a real size scale, it tells you which side, how much percentage of weight is on the inside of your car, front and rear and the cross weight, which is kind of what you work to. I'm not sure these go into quite that much detail, but looking at them, they've got corner weight for each of the wheels and a percentage on each side. So looking at my car, I've got my Fusion RC, my Nitro uh, 21. Now clearly the, the, the engine's all on one side and, then the, and most of the electronics are sort of down the middle and across to the other side. So it'd be interesting if anything to see how this fares. So I'm gonna get it out the box. It takes, from my understanding, four uh, AA batteries, which I'll install. Let me see how we get on. I've never used them, so I don't think it's gonna make, I mean, all I'm gonna use these for really is to see where the weight is on the car. Um, you can adjust the springs and the platforms on this car, but they're not like the ones that you adjust on the fly. You have to put spacers in on these shocks and, and these springs are really, really stiff. So again, I'm not sure whether that's gonna make any much difference at all. So we'll see. So you've got the, the normal sort of this, I put the batteries on. We've got zero and change the units. So we've got front weight, rear weight, total weight, percentage of weight side to side and back and forth. So that's quite interesting. You can pro with that, you can probably work out the cross weight, uh, but cross weight's only really beneficial for like oval racing. So I'm not even gonna worry about that. Um, it's got a plastic protective film, which I'll take off. There you have it. So I haven't tried these. I don't, I don't even know if they work. Um, I'll just put the batteries in. So the idea being, you want this set out on a flat, hard surface for obvious reasons. And in here we've got the four pads. We'll plug those in. It looks like they are colour coded. Um, got blue, white, red, and orange. And then you've got, if you look in the corner, a white pad, blue, red, and orange. So I'm guessing it's not rocket science you plug each pad into its corresponding corner color so nice and easy i'm just taking these out of the bag 
and I'm doing the, the wiring because you know effectively they could fit onto any RC car really for that matter. I'm not sure what the maximum weight is. It will it probably will say on the instructions. So as you can see, it's currently on. And then zero. So if we just, that. Yeah, I'm not sure what's weighing it in. What's that weighing it in? I'll change the units. So I do need to check that. I just put my camera back down. And you can see everything. So we've currently got the car on the scales, fairly central. Now, you're supposed to do things like take the sway bars off or the anti-roll bars. Uh, mine are still connected. Because it may give you a false reading, but I, to be quite honest with you, I don't think it's make a lot of difference. So what we've currently got is the car weighs uh, 1,905 grams. So that's just under 2,000 grams, which is two kilos. Uh, the limit for each pad is two kilos. So we're well within, you can put your one eight scale buggy on there and it'll be absolutely fine. So you can see there we've got kind of, you know, just under, as I said, two kilos on the total weight, which is good and you've got like a percentage of most of it's at the rear and to the left. It's got, the, if you look, it's got like the fuel tank, which has got a little bit of fuel in it, and the engine on the left of the chassis. So what I'm gonna try and do, I've got a couple of spaces here, which will fit on those shock absorbers. And I'm gonna see if I can get that 46% and 54% slightly closer. So. What you have to do is on the right hand side of the car, so I need spaces on the right hand side shock absorbers. Uh, I think that's right. I'll try it anyway, we'll see. We'll see if my memory serves me well. So I'll just I'll just I'll just put these on. Um, so at the moment we can see just so you know 46% on the right hand side, 54% on the left. And I'll I'm gonna put the thicker ones on. So let me just show you that. Okay. So that's probably about five mil, six mil. So I'm gonna put those on each side. So what I've done, I've added a couple of shims onto the right-hand side shock absorbers. And I took two out of the left side, but put a thicker one in on the rear. So I've got a thicker one there. And I took them out on that front left, but put one in so it takes up more of the slack. You can see there, the ones that are in the car, these, they're spares, this side there. So you've got that one, that one, and that one. So they were actually in the car, well, on, the, on the shock absorbers. And I've just placed it back onto the scales. And now we've got a 50-50 left to right weight distribution. Now I've still got the sway bars connected. So what I'm tempted to do is, all they are is like a, like a plastic uh, bracket that screws into the top wishbones, front and rear. And I, if I take that off and put it back on, it should give me an actual true reading. So it's, it's gone from, what, it, what was it before, 45? 55% and that's now 50-50. So that's, that's 
well, providing that's true, of course. So let me just go and take the sway bars, disconnect the sway bars. So all I've done is disconnected the sway bars. I've left the brackets on the ends there, but undone the screws, so they're not under any tension whatsoever. And it has changed again, so 48% on the right hand side and 52. So with the sway bars on, so with the sway bars on, it's more close to 50%, which isn't too bad. Um, so we've got 53, 47, front to rear. Again, when the fuel goes in, it is gonna change again, but that's pretty much, it's fairly accurate. I'm quite impressed actually. So that I'm gonna run it in that configuration. I've just literally done is changed the, the shock absorber tension on the springs. Um, and hopefully, well, it does have a cross weight percentage actually. So, so I'm just checking my figures here actually. So looking at what I've got here. So the, the top figure, front right, and rear left, oh, that is the cross weight. So cross weight percentage is 40, it does do that, it's 47% cross weight. And then you've got the front left and rear right percentage, front left, so it's the other way. 53% and the weight of the front left and rear right. And I see how that works. So you can see here we have got, because of the engine, I'm just working out, it hasn't, it hasn't actually got it on here. But the this one here is the weight on the left of the car. And that one over there is the weight on the right of the car. And the percentage weights are crossed from rear left to front right and so on so but it has changed in an ideal world you probably want 50 percent on a track car which has left and right corners um, that will take a little more fettling for myself but i think for now i'm going to leave that there and um, we'll try it because it has been adjusted. I'll put the anti roll bars back on and we'll give it a go. Um, right, so we're all learning. I'm trying to sort of rekindle my knowledge of corner weights and cross weights. So I hope you enjoyed it. That was the uh, Sky RC. That was my Fusion, uh, Schumacher Fusion 21. Um, we'll go from there. We'll get it back out one day. Give it another run. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll see you later.